Damn it. Did I mention that I didn't have a clue about anything? So I'm working on trying to perfect the prop up prototype as seen in a previous video. And here's what I've come up with. One of the things I ran across is these uh, this piece of wood that I used to uh, cut this from had a bit of a cup to it. So as you, you really can't tell it in this video. Well, maybe you can. See how it kind of goes thusly. And so when I drilled the original holes for the 5 8 dowel that I had, they came out crooked. So the whole thing was cattywampus, as we like to say in Kentucky. So I had this whole totally different idea of uh, actually putting these two pieces together and hinging them like a like a picture frame prop. But I didn't have a hinge. So I did have this three quarter inch dowel and using the table saw I managed to square these up to where they're more even to one another. And uh, did in fact <clears throat> make it a bit more square and it doesn't wobble and wiggle around anymore. But it's still a prototype. It's still a, a work in progress. And what I'd like to do probably is at some point is to uh, bring this angle down in such a way as to where I can create a, a, a bit of a bird lip right here so that iPad or tablet, whatever you're going to rest on this, will have a place to sit and not just slide off. And if we do hinge the two backs together so that they open up in a V shape and you create this, uh, this lip, then it can, when you're not using it, just fold it flat take it with you. At least it does sit evenly on the on a flat surface now and it doesn't wobble around. But had some scraps laying around so thought I'd play with it and that's that. Yeah. It's a floating angle. Ooh. Yes, that is an adult beverage. As the beginning of this video would suggest, a great many things that uh, when you saddle yourself in the middle of a North American continent and you don't get out all that much, uh, there's a whole lot of things you're not exposed to and you have no idea about. You know, in a, in a vastly changing world where at the same time we're all interconnected through the interwebs and the YouTube and uh, Facebook, Pinterest, that... Uh, we still don't know a whole lot about each other. You know, kind of clearly demonstrated in the fact that um, we seem to be eager, the whole world, not just the United States, but the whole world seems to be eager to go put some smack down on some Russians and some Middle Easterners for no other reason than we just don't care for what they stand for. And if we were to actually read, study, and pay attention to our history books, we would realize that uh, this has happened over and over again, and I don't know what to say about that. And I don't want the Curmudgeon Chronicles to be a, a soapbox of, uh, oh, you know, this is what I think. I mean, who gives a shit what I think? So other than me, but I'd rather have this uh, this be an avenue where we could uh, kind of escape from all that crap. And to me, honestly, that's the that's the upside of the internet and uh, worldwide connectivity that uh, regular people sitting in the garage or hut or hooch, you know, whatever whatever you want to call your place where you go and hang out and try to find a quiet moment and reflect a little bit and try to soak in some of the ether. You know, that's what YouTube and uh, the internet's all about. So that I'm sitting here in the center of North America and somebody in Eastern Europe could be seeing what I'm saying and if they understand English, um, they might get something from it, or they may at at at, the, at least realize that we're kind of all on the same sheet of music here. We all have the same desires and wants. We want to have a family and raise our children and be happy and be able to provide for them, and hopefully along the way have a little fun. Uh, you know, every so often you get some uh, despot or elitist that decides that, you know, I'm tired of those six million people having fun. I think we're just going to make their day bad for the next 
I don't know, a thousand days. Make them all just miserable. Maybe we'll kill off a few of them because they're consuming too many resources. What can I say to that other than that's just the way it is? That's human nature and that's world history. And, uh, you know, if we, if we don't read it and learn from it, we're doomed to repeat it. To quote somebody famous, which whose name escapes me at this moment. Excuse me. Enough of that. Oh, look, there's a speed square. <gasps> Can you hear that? That's a train. Yep, and we're a long way from the track even. The rumble of the big train engine. Well, I think we've wasted enough time. If you like this video, give it that old thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up. We thank you for watching, and please, tune in again. Off to edit this video. Yay! Where's that? I know that button's here somewhere.